Hi everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate duration and modify duration of bond. So let's start. First, I'm going to import library. So port numpy as np, import pandas as pd, let's run this data is equal to pd dot data frame. So let's define some variable which we are required here. So let's say defining variables slash input. So let's say time is equal to four years, yield is equal to 6%, Coupon is equal to 10%. Periodic payment is equal to two, which is semi-annual. And let's say face values or par, whatever you say is $100. These are the input or variable we are required in order to calculate duration of bond so there are so many ways to calculate the duration you can use numpy you can use pandas so i'm using both here so if you are new to my channel and if you still didn't subscribe it so i would really appreciate if you subscribe my channel and hit the like button so let's say coupon payment is equal to we are going to create a series of coupon payment along with coupon plus principal, which will be the last payment. So what I'm going to do here, coupon divided by two, because this is the annual coupon payment here. So that's why I'm dividing it by two, put it in the round bracket and divided by 100, because this coupon is in percentage already. So we are going to do that, multiply it with face value. Further, we're gonna multiply it with time into periodic payment. So we will have a series of payment here, minus one. Plus, all we need is coupon plus last payment. So what I'm going to do here, this, just copy and paste. So this portion will give us the coupon payment. And in addition to this, what I'm going to do, face value. So this whole formula will provide us the payment of coupon as well as coupon plus principal, which will be in the last. So let's run this. Let's copy this, paste it here, run this. All right. So these are the series of payment we have here. All right. Now I'm going to generate the series of payment. So before that, what I'm going to do, I'm saying total payment will be equal to time into periodic payment. And then let's run this. All right, eight. So since I'm going to use pandas, I need to generate a series. So it will be equal to PD dot data frame, NP dot a range, one comma, total payment plus one comma columns is equal to, so I'm going to put the name of column, it's gonna be period. Let's, let's check the data as well. All right. So we got the series of uh, total payments and it's gonna be eight total payments here. All right. Now, also what I'm going to do, I want to put this series of coupon payment, which will be equal to PD dot data frame. Since it's in NumPy, so I'm going to convert it into Panda series. 
So for that, what I need to do here is I just need to put PT dot data frame and then coupon payment, just copy it, paste it here. All right, so we got the new column, which is coupon payment. And you can see here, five, 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 five. And the last payment is one, zero, five. Perfect. Now, run this, this is the formula of Macaulay duration. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to follow the same example of uh, bond calculation what is available on Investopedia. So what I will do, I will also share the link with you guys. So you can also have a look and validate that what I have done is correct or not. So it will also give you more comfort that what exactly the result we have there in Investopedia, we also get the same here. So it's sort of like a proof checking or the validation of the calculation. So let me share the link here in the description below. So what I'm going to do here, since I got the periodic payment, I got the coupon. So I need to calculate the discounted value of uh, periodic coupon payment. So all I need to do here is I'm going to calculate discounted coupon payment, which is CP. So it will be equal to data coupon payment divided by one plus yield, which is 6% divided by two, whole divided by rate, power, data of period. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to discount based on the respective time period. So it's gonna be period. Let's close the bracket. But this is the long calculation here. So let's put this denominator in the whole bracket. Let's run this, check the data. All right, so we got our discounted coupon payment. Now, after this, we need to calculate the present value divided by the total value of the discounted uh, coupon payment. It's gonna be PV by total discounted coupon payment sorry, is equal to data discounted coupon payment into data period divided by data discounted coupon payment dot sum. Let's run this, let's check the data here. All right. We got this. Now, sum of present value divided by total discounted coupon payment is equal to duration. So data dot sum, let's run this, it's 6.87. All we need to do here in order to get the duration of the bond, we need to divide it by two, which is semi-annual. So the duration of the bond is 3.43 seven or you can say 3.44 here so let me quickly do one thing here i'm just going to put all these code in one line and then i will run it again and see how fast it will be so we got the face value and we also have total payment we got this periods so periodic payment we also got the discounted coupon payment. Here we have the present value or discounted uh, cash flow value. So basically this discounted cash flow is the present value of coupon. So that's why I put PV, which is present value of cash flow, uh, present value of coupon payment. Sorry, I'm mixing it again. And then this duration. In the next video, what I will do, I will calculate all these information by using function. So let me know if you people are interested in it in the comment section below. So let me put this in duration. Duration is equal to this. 
modified duration is equal to duration divided by one plus e divided by two. Let me put it in the bracket. Divided by hundred. Let's close the bracket. All right. So what I'm going to do here is print duration of bond is and and modified duration is format duration comma modified duration let's run this all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to put data underscore one because it's already contained information so i'm going to assign a new data frame here all right so let's run this again i just forgot to add this coupon payment series here so all i need to do is i just need to add code here let's run this perfect so we got the number the duration of bond is 3.43 and modified duration is 3.33 now in the example which i was talking about in investopedia time is three so let's run this all right so the duration of the bond is 2.68 and modified duration 2.60. Let me quickly share with you the calculation what we have in Investopedia here. So, so it will be more clear. All right. So the face value of bond is $100, which I have already taken. Coupon is 10% semi-annually and yield to maturity is 6%. Now, I have followed the same steps and come up with the number, which is 2.684. So if you just check here, 2.684, which is this, and modified duration is 2.61, which is similar to what I have here, 2.61. So this is the proof of the calculation, what I have done here. Alrighty. So that's all for today. Hope you like the video. Thank you.